Hello, I am Mohammed Qasim Shinwari, project management expert with you uh, in this uh, brand new series of uh, Primavera P6. Uh, in the past video tutorials, we learned how to uh, download and install uh, P6 and then we learned uh, how to create a new project. So now it's the time that we create an environment uh, for entering activities uh, so that we can start our project in the P6. So what we are going to do in this video is uh, we will uh, customize our layout, which I call we are customizing the environment of the project, the P6, in which we will add activities. And in addition to this, uh, we will define a new calendar. Uh, calendars is, of course, uh, one of the most important uh, items in P6. Uh, you should know. Uh, what are calendars, how they work, how to define calendars, and then how to modify calendars, how to make a certain uh, day as a non-working day, um, and how to create your uh, week uh, situation, like either it is Saturday, Sunday off, only Sunday off, only Fridays off, and uh, as per your current uh, region you are working in. Uh, so let's get started and see uh, how you are going to uh, define the environment, the columns and then how to add calendar. Uh, let us make our uh, environment ready uh, for defining activities and starting inputting the data. First of all make sure the project is open in your case, if it is not, click on Projects Toolbar, right-click on the project, and click Open Project. Then go to Activities Layout. In Activities Layout, or you can call it Activities Window, uh, you can see different columns. I am uh, going to modify this layout. Right-click click on columns or you can directly click here columns in the main toolbar activity id i need it activity name i need it original duration is okay remaining duration up to the total float i hold it on uh, shift button and then i click total float so all of these are selected and I will remove it from list. I will click on available options, go to group and sort by, click on list. Check out for early start and early finish. Double click will make it selected. Early start and early finish. Click OK. Double click with adjust the columns. You will need activity name a little bit uh, wider column. I can save this layout. Go to layout, layout, save as. And I will name it as C001 dash activities click save next step is uh, making the calendars you can define calendars later on and then you can use uh, global change or some other techniques to assign those calendars to the respective activities but it is advisable to create calendar uh, before creating activities. <clears throat> now we are going to define calendars. In P6, we can create and assign calendars to resource and activity. What actually these calendars are doing? What they are used for? The calendars are used for defining the number of available work hours. 
the number of available workers a resource can be available if it is a holiday or not we can also define national holidays the organization specific holidays project specific work and non work days and also the resource vacation days this project uh, management module uses uh, the calendar assignments for scheduling and tracking activities and leveling resources and we can link resource and project calendars to global calendars and similarly global calendar can be applied to all resources and project calendars linked to the global calendar Now there are three types of calendars in Primavera 6. One is global. This global calendar, any uh, actually these are three categories. If you define calendar under global category, then you can assign it to any pro project. And if you define any calendar under project category you can def you can assign to that specific project only that calendar cannot be available cannot be assigned to other projects unless it is moved to global calendar similarly the re if you define uh, a calendar under resource category then that calendar will be assigned only to resources unless move to global category what i will do i will go to enterprise and i will click on calendars so i will prefer this global calendar click it add copy from seven day work week and i will call it c001 and then i will modify it i will make sure that work week is 10 hours per day or you can change it as per your requirement click ok 10 hours work hours per day uh, again click on work week i will make friday as off friday is a holiday you can make sunday off as per your respective uh, countries and regions click ok now you can see friday is off and this is the non-work color this is the legend now if there are any other holidays you can define that too for example let me define only one and i will make this as 20th march so i will double click it and it will become non-work you can see work hours per day is zero. You can also use these buttons to switch between work and non-work and standard. There is also a button time periods which defines how many hours there are per day, per week, per month and per year. We have defined 10 hours. This will be used when you will change the display units into hours, weeks, months, or years. 10 hours per day, 60 hours per week, 240 hours per month, and approximately 2880 hours per year. Generally, per year is not uh, <coughs> so much converted because uh, the per year unit is too much. We generally stick to uh, hours per day, sometimes hours per week if you are interested in bi-weekly progress reports and hours per month of course. Click OK. So we have defined our time periods. We have also defined a non-working day. You can define your list of non-working days. We have defined our number of hours, standard work hours. If you click on detailed work hours per day, it will tell you from which time up to which you are uh, you have work hours. For example, on 8th of March, 
at 7 o'clock the work time starts up to 16 so you can change it also you can define break time for example if I do for one case like from 12 it will be off and here 17 it will be on like this is a break time you can do it also but I think uh, it's not necessary to be done it's not necessary to be done now this is 8 on 8 this is an exception make it standard click OK now C001 calendar is defined click close before adding activity I will uh, make this calendar as a default calendar for this project go to the projects window and in project details if you don't see it right click and click on project details you will see this details window there is default tab under default tab change the calendar to C001 now click on activities now we are ready to define our activities so that's it you learned uh, I hope you enjoyed not only learning enjoying is also very important uh, you learned and enjoyed the new Primavera P6 environment how to add columns and uh, at the end how to define calendars the different types of calendars uh, and how to make uh, a calendar as the project default calendar so uh, don't miss the next video see you there bye bye